Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Benjamin Daniel. Welcome to my channel and this is part three of my Middle Eastern Dubai based fragrance cloning house video and today I want to touch base real quick again no review no notes breakdown just a quick overview of what I got from this company uh, clone house inspired by alternative designers called fragrance world UAE so there you go got seven bottles a year and I'm looking forward to getting more so let's get into each bottle a year all right, the first one I got up here is called Leighton. There you go. Eau de Parfum. <laughs> it looks like an Atkinson bottle, and of course, this is definitely uh, uh, their take, Fragrance World take on Perfumes de Marley Leighton. 1743, the two horses over there. There you go, that's how the bottle looks. And it's pretty heavy. That is the cap. I've never spelt Leighton. I don't think I'll ever get my nose on it. It's not available in India unless you get it through online dealers or resellers. And I'm told that this is about 90% very similar to Perfumes de Mali Leighton. And this is a very good juice. I like this very much. So this is Fragrance World clone take on PDM Leighton. Fine. And the next one over here is Tobacco Mint check it out wow it's a beautiful beautiful heavy bottle and this is fragrance world inspired by alternative of carolina herrera mystery tobacco from the ch collection again heavy bottle beautiful cap strong tobacco based fragrance very strong incense strong kind of sweet kind of fruity but overall one of the best tobacco fragrances I've smelled. I've never smelled mystery tobacco. Uh, I don't know what it smells like. I got no clue about it. And I don't think it's available right here in India. I've never seen it in any of the big branded fragrance stores, but this is a beautiful one. And I like this as a clone inspired by version from Fragrance World. Okay, put that aside. And the next one up over here is Destentations. Of course, just by looking at the color of the bottle, and that little logo thing going out there from Fragrance World. It is definitely a clone of Versace Eros. And that's an EDT. This is an EDP. It's almost like if Versace decided to come up with Eros EDP. This is how it will smell. Very similar. I would say about easily 90 to 95% beautiful clone take on Versace Eros. Better performance than the reformulated present-day Eros. Much better. And I like the bottle. It's very simple to, to hold. You can see right through it. Transparent. Beautiful uh, design over there. And good juice. Amazing performance. Everything from Fragrance World is pretty good. Right out the bat. Okay. All right. This one. Yeah. This is like, I think this is like Italian or Spanish going on over here. La Uno. El Uno para Hombres, EDP, yep, yes, Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP, <laughs> a beautiful take on it, very similar, definitely not like the reformulated or very difficult to get D and G, the one EDP, this one is, let's see, I guess I got that bottle, I don't know if it's reformulated or the vintage or the original one, but I get about seven to eight out of, hours out of that one and for this one over here i've used a couple of sprays already just to do some testing I haven't really gone into the bottle la uno performance is outstanding i would say about 90 to 95 percent very close to dng the one edp and performance is just great i get about eight nine close close to nine and a half hours out of this one for the price i picked it up it's beautiful might as well just dig into this over here so there you go folks la uno El Uno para Hombres DNG the One EDP clone. All right, next up over here. This one, I did not pick it up online like all these over here, and the other two I'm going to show you. This was from a fragrance and cosmetic store that's close to my place. I went in there a couple of weeks back, picked, smelt it. They opened up the box for me, smelt it, and it was from Fragrance World. So I knew that quality is going to be good, performance is going to be good, price was just right. And it was much cheaper than what I actually picked up these online. I got this for about 12 50 
in the store <laughs> so that's very very good pricing compared to the online pricing and it's called orchid brown beautiful beautiful sprayed it on my hand waited for about 10 minutes and had some errands to run came back to the store and i picked it up and this is the box just want to show you what the box looks like orchid brown and fragrance world it's a 80 mil edp that's the logo over there beautiful design this is floral it's fruity it's incense it's sweet and it's everything i like <laughs> even if it's got florals in it it still blends out beautifully and the best part of it it's chocolatey yeah oh you get that strong chocolate vibe so look into it brown orchid there's a black orchid there's a white orchid there's a brown orchid gold edition and brown orchid oud edition so this is one of the collections over here it's a beautiful design uh don't know what's inside over here let's just check that out all right nothing in there okay cap pretty solid beautiful ribbon covered up through this leather covering all around the bottle and beautiful design kind of carved right into the leather around this it's it's not real it's just it's obviously fake but <laughs> it, it has a good look and feel and a good texture just to hold it so brown orchid from fragrance world i have no clue what this is a clone of i checked with fragrantica with the perfume by notes breakdown feature and it eventually popped up a message wow that's a great uh, combo you got going on over there unfortunately it's not being made yet well <laughs> fragrance world made it so i'm not even sure so if anyone has brown orchid and you have a better nose than i do let me know if it's a clone inspired by version or if it's just fragrance world own blend of chocolate florals incense fruit and goodness in this bottle so there you go everybody brown orchid by fragrance world lovely juice okay these two oh, these are my new buys just got them uh, last week and the first one over here is called fragrance world i don't know if you can try to see this it's very reflective mocha wood edp and i'm going to show you the box before i actually go into the bottle over here this is the box it's got like a velvety feel mocha wood EDP 100 uh, mil lovely box fragrance world logo with there yeah that's how it looks that's how it came and this is inspired by a cheaper alternative clone of Bodacia the victorious hero I I am very impressed by Bodacia the victorious bottles and the design they are a British based luxury fragrance house they don't even call themselves niche just outstanding designs presentation and juice and everybody just raves up on them and say it's out it's just amazing stuff so this is fragrance world clone of bodesha the victorious hero and uh, i might do a review on this it's sweet it's oudish incense and uh, amberish so it's 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 a beautiful fragrance <laughs> i like it and lovely lovely design of the bottle Look at that cap. They're trying to replicate the, uh, the cap of Bodacia, the Victorious bottles. And probably this is the closest they could get to it. There you go. Wow. Wow. It's lovely. There you go. All right. Put that aside. The next one over here, again, is a Bodacia, the Victorious clone. And this is called Green Sapphire. I got the box over here. And it says Green Sapphire there. Again, slight velvety feel to the box. And it is a take on Bodacia the Victorious Green Sapphire Summer Fragrance. Only used a couple of sprays on this one over here. Performance outstanding for both of this. This is probably the closest I'll ever get to Bodacia the Victorious fragrances. They are not available in India. I don't think anyone has them. Probably very, very difficult to get. I was told, I did a little research online, this one, the original Bodacia, the Victorious Hero, the 100 mil EDP unisex is about, in Indian rupees, 45,000 rupees. <laughs> 40 to 45,000. I think they got a little sale going on right now. Got this for 1,500. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> that's still very good <laughs> all right and the same price for this one over here green sapphire it's it, the, the name says it all and i like the bottle very much and above all the juice it's just splendid it's exotic it's unique and overall performance is outstanding for both these fragrances over here all right so there you go so that's about it folks just a quick take on um, fragrance world clones brown orchid mocha wood green sapphire clone of dg d and g not dg d and g the one edp la uno Destinations, Versace, Eros, EDP, Tobacco Myth, Carolina Herrera, Mystery Tobacco Confidential Series, and the last one over here, PDM Layton. This is called Layton in an Atkinson looking bottle. <laughs> All right. Okay. Everyone, have a great day ahead of you. Have a blessed day. And I got some more picks that I have from my Middle Eastern Dubai based collection and that will be coming up in my next video all of them have one thing in common they are affordable low cost high quality great performance everything to me these are 10 out of 10 fragrances all a plus listers okay take care and i got more coming up see you when i see you bye bye everyone